Salve il mio amicos e grazie mille. Sorry guys, that's just me practicing my Italian there. Welcome in everyone, my name is Ash, or Brom18, and today I've got another FC24 Tactics video. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have got a fun one. It is a system of one Luciano Spalletti for Italy in Euro 2024 of the early stages at this time. I'm a huge fan of Spalletti. I've always enjoyed watching his teams play. Back to the days of the kind of strikerless systems of the Roma days and even before that. Um, and it's kind of just continued with this Italy system. We've got a kind of complex, lots of tweaks, lots of changes, a funky one here as you can see and I'm really excited to get stuck into this one. As always, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. And with that being said, let's get stuck into these position changes of which there are many. So then, in terms of the formation, I just clicked the 4-2-3-1 wide. It doesn't really matter because you're going to make a lot of changes here. First things first, Di Lorenzo, we want to push him. He's still a right back, but we want to push him narrower towards the centre back. Um, whereas with Di Marco, He's going to be pushed up to left wing back and we want him all the way up to left wing back before he becomes a left midfielder. What this does is it helps Di Lorenzo form that back three, whereas Di Marco, he pushes up and plays that out and out attacking wing back role. And that's going to complement what you're going to see ahead in the midfield shortly. Now with this midfield, obviously it looks like a diamond in the tactic screen, but it isn't really that. And um, what we do have, though, is we have some tweaks. So, Jorginho, obviously, he's that kind of deeper lying pivot. You don't need to kind of explain too much there. Now, with Barella first, we'll start off. He is always the one who's going to come deeper. He's going to show deeper for the ball. He's going to roam into more of those central pockets. However, as you'll see here, we've got him as Cam. Now, why is that? Well, what you'll notice is whilst he does come deeper in possession and he plays more of that flat role, out of possession, he's the one who will actually push up front with Skamaka and help form that 4-4-2 and complement that press. So how do we recreate that role where he's coming deeper in possession and he's more of that flat role? He's in the out and out box box mid, but out of possession, he's going to be pushing up and forming that 4-4-2 shape, helping that press. Well, we do it like this. We move him up to camp and then in the player instructions, which we'll talk about a little bit later on, we're going to set him to free roam. And that means that in possession, you'll notice he drops deeper. He's playing that flatter role. But out of possession, does a fantastic job of forming that 4-4-2 shape in the defensive phase. Now, with Pellegrini, on the other hand, he's going to be as a left century midfielder in this case. So what that's going to do is, again, in the player instructions, we're going to set him to kind of get forward as that boxer box midfielder. He's the out and out boxer box midfielder. For Tazy, originally we had him at right attack midfield, but what you'll notice is when I did that, it messed with the defensive shape and it harmed the structure of it. So as a result, we've changed him to right central midfield and it's important that he's going to support Chiesa in the wide areas. Chiesa, on the other hand, is that out and out right winger. So he's going to create the width on this side, complementing Di Lorenzo, who stays back and helps form a back three. And then naturally, Skamaka is the front man. So as you can see, a very complex system and in FIFA, a lot of tweaking needed in order to recreate this shape, but it does work very, very effectively, recreate it very accurately. So that's it for the player positioning changes. Then next up, we're going to talk about the tactical instructions. First things first, as we do in every video, I want to let you know if you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates, you want access to exclusive tactics videos, behind the scenes videos of my football scouting career, Discord server access, fancy league access and a whole lot more go and check out my patreon the best way to support the channel lots of fantastic exclusive tactics coming your way over the next few weeks or so so keep an eye out for them and as i say the patrons are who are keeping the channel going at this time so the best way to support the channel as i say and some really great perks that go along with that as well in terms of the tactical instructions then defensive style is pressure on heavy touch the team width is on 10 it's very compact and very narrow and then the depth is on 80. now against albania it was extremely high the center backs were almost camped halfway in the attacking half such was the nature of that game i'm expecting that to change throughout the tournament so at this moment in time we've got it on 80 um if there are major changes and obviously we'll come back to this video and, and do an updated video as well offensively in the build-up play we've got them on slow build-up and with chance creation is on possession much more calculated composed and a, a slightly slower pace compared to say someone like germany who we've seen in the tournament so far who are playing at a higher kind of tempo a lot more movement with italy they're looking to patiently kind of break you down and, and wear you down with that that possession uh, the width is on 40 i found it this the best balance with regards to kind of you've got demarco out wide you've got chiesa out wide Lorenzo comes narrow 
Pellegrini comes more narrow, etc. But what's most important though is that they do kind of like to stretch a play a little bit. They leave a little bit more space and some more gaps in between each kind of vertical line. So this is how we try to replicate that. Players in the box is on five. You can have fewer players in the box. You might get three in the box of crossing situations, the likes of Pellegrini and Skamaka, and one of either of Chiesa or Fratesi as well. And in corners and free kicks, both of these are on four. Really important to mention, though, that Spalletti has a knack for his, his teams. Just have crazy set-piece routines. They have some of the best records from set-pieces. They always have things up their sleeve. You'll have noticed early on in the tournament, they've always got two um, at the corner flag, Di Marco, and sometimes maybe like Pellegrini or Chiesa, etc. So you want to just work that into your set-piece routines as well. You'll notice in the gameplay... That was something I was doing a lot from corners. So next up then, we have the player restrictions. And this is where it really gets tasty. And we try and work in all of these specific roles. Starting off though with Donnarumma in goal. We've got him on comes to crosses. But then he's saving outside the box. Only on balance. Not really associated as that sweeper type. Who's going to come too far outside of his box. Bastoni and Calafiori. We've left these on basic. You don't need to change anything there. You could move Bastoni up to aggressive interceptions as you want to. He's someone who's going to be very man-to-man -man orientated. He likes to impose himself on the opposition. Whether or not that really translates to aggressive interceptions though, I'm not so sure. Di Lorenzo, we've already spoken about. He's the one who's going to stay back out for on that back three. Protect Chiesa over on that side. So he's attacking runs to stay back whilst attacking and his run type is inverted. Di Marco, on the other hand, as that attacking, overlapping wing back, he's on dual knee attack and his run type is overlap. Jorginho as the pivot, cut passing lanes for his defensive behaviour, attacking support is stay back whilst attacking, cover wing for his defensive position and then deep lying playmaker. Now this will sometimes get him dropping in between the defence, which he occasionally did, maybe not to the extent that it is going to be in game. However, I think it's good because they're still going to drop around to pockets as well and it's going to make that role a bit more effective and make sure that he's not as stagnant. Yeah, with let's move on to let's move on to Pellegrini next, shall we? Pellegrini is the out and out boxer box midfielder. He's the one who, in crossing situations, in those ultimate attacking, advanced attacking situations, he's going to be the one supporting Skamaka the most. So we want to make sure that his attacking support is get forward and supporting crosses, get into the box of the cross. The best way to kind of replicate that box to box role, stick to position for positioning freedom, and then his defensive position is cover wing. Fratesi over on the other hand, he's on get forward for his attack and support, but then his support and crosses this time on balanced crossing runs. This is just to get that balance between maybe Chiesa or Fratesi getting into the box, one of the two. Uh, and then positioning freedom is drift wide to help him, to help Chiesa over on that side, make sure that he isn't isolated, and then cover wing for his defensive position. Barella, as we've already spoken about, is on comeback on defence, stay on the edge of the box of the cross, and in position freedom is free roam. As we've already alluded to at the start of the video, we want to make sure that he's dropping off. We don't want him kind of storming into the box as well. We want to make sure he's hovering around the edge, and that free roam is what's going to get him deeper, and you'll notice he really does contribute to the all phases of play, defensive, middle, and attacking third. Uh, and then we next up, we have Chiesa over on the right-hand side. He's on comeback on defence, stay wide for his chance creation, and his support runs is get in behind. Finally, support and crosses is getting to the box of the cross. And we'll round off with Gianluca Scamacca then, shall we? We've got stay runs, stay central on his support runs, and his attacking runs is mixed attack. Finally, his defence support is stay forward. And so with that being said, we're ready to finish it there. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure, as I said, to check out my Patreon, the best way to support the channel and get access to fantastic perks, such as exclusive tactics videos and tactics package, behind the scenes videos, and a whole lot more. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next one, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.